Good afternoon. Welcome or welcome back to Vintage Jewelry Galore. Today I'm going to show you a jewelry haul that I picked up. And I'm also going to show you another bag of my friend mail from Kathy. I'm going to start off with the jewelry that I picked up um, out shopping about um, in my area. Um, if you see anything that you're interested in purchasing, you may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email is always down in the description section underneath my video, as well as my sales schedule. My next sale that I will have is on Thursday, August the 24th. I will come on at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and I will have my Thrifty Thursday sale, where I offer beautiful jewelry at affordable prices. Um, prices range from 5 to $30. Occasionally, I'll auction off at the end what's left if there's enough of a certain type of jewelry or something. Um, Anyways, I hope you'll join me on Thursday. Uh, let me get started. This is nice. This is signed Sterling. It's Onyx and Sterling Silver. Let me size it. I think it's like a five. Yeah. It's, well, it's almost a six. It is almost a six. It's adorable. It's signed Sterling. It's vintage. I think this is like around 1970s. I'm not an expert on that type of thing, though, so don't quote me on that. But it's it's a nice little onyx, and I forget what that's called with the leaf on it. Um, it is signed Sterling in there. I could tell it's Sterling. I didn't test it, but I would. I will. This is Sterling and onyx. Everything I show, I will put out front so you can see it. This is cool. JJ. It's signed JJ 1996 back there, I believe. It's about a two inch. And pretty cool. Looks like um, kind of like a Picasso art type thing, you think, in a shield mixture. It is signed, and it's JJ. Brooch. This is adorable. I didn't see a signature on it. I looked briefly. Let me see. Kitty cat. Look, in a basket. With Those are clear rhinestones and green rhinestones, and this is painted enamel. It's metal. It's a vintage brooch. Adorable, huh? Looks kind of eastery. It does not stand up, so it lays. Okay, um, I found two dogs. <laughs> this is, there was another duo, too, and I, I didn't grab them. Um, but the two dogs with bone, different sized enamel, vintage, metal, you know, with gray enameling, and then their bones in their mouth, two dogs. I don't even know what kind of dogs they are. I'm going to try not to move too fast, so if it's a long video, you can come and go. You can watch as much as you want. I'm going to try to move slowly. And if I talk too loud, turn it down. I know my voice really carries, even when I don't want it to. I'm not yelling, and sometimes it sounds like it. Small woman with a loud voice. <laughs> this says something on it. I don't know what, but look. It's a little pin lipstick with clear rhinestones and red and black enamel. It's pretty cute. It's a little over an inch, probably an inch and a quarter. Little pin. It may not say anything on the pin. I thought I saw something. Could just be the grooves to catch that. You know how they put that on there. But little pin. I have, I have some um, real nice things. Whiting and Davis. Let me get moving. I was just starting on the ground. This is vintage Whiting and Davis. Painted porcelain. And, and I have it backwards. That's the back, but I'm sure it's fine. It's signed Whiting, Whiting and Davis hair. And that is a flower on there. A blue rose, I believe. There's the back. It is signed vintage waiting and Davis not sure of the year exactly I'm thinking 70s I'll look though to make sure um, before I try selling it um, if anybody's interested they may contact me ahead of time Whiting and Davis like I said um, spring ring silver tone there's that clips and a necklace it's a Whiting and Davis set this is very nice. You can untie this as well, and I was surprised at that. I believe this unties. There's no, um, it's strung on silk. You see, same color as the, like, orangish color. There is no clasp on it, but very nice, long. And I believe that unties. Yeah, I'm not untying it, but it, it, it will untie. It's nice glass. Necklace. I don't know if it's stone or shell or just glass. I will look at it closer, test it before I sell it. So there's that. 
that was you can see that in the background, but it's pretty. It was midnight meow, and Eva's cat is extremely noisy. You'll hear that in the background. He's fine. He just went in her bedroom, and she locked him out. You can hear him from rooms away, even from on the top floor. Nice. That's nice. I think it's very nice. So I grabbed it. Um, stones. Malachite. I found a dainty malachite necklace. It's strung on fabric. Possibly so. Can't tell by looking at this. But this is real malachite. And it's a rather small, like, sized ones. I don't know, probably like two mm's. I didn't measure them two millimeters. I don't know how big they are exactly. I could measure them if somebody's interested in it. It's they're smaller though, but they are malachite, and I don't know the fine neons that. I think it's gold tone. I will make sure on the clasp and check that out. But look, they they're nice, tiny little necklace though. But you can see the variation. I think you could see that. Yeah. So that's malachite. Smaller one. Could go with a larger one if somebody has it. Stone. Multiple stones on here. I believe I see Laramar. Tiger Eye. That's Laramar. I really like Laramar right now. Um, there's some amethyst on there. I don't know what the rest of the stones are, honestly. Quartz. Um, I don't know what that is. But these are stones. And it's a necklace, a stone necklace. Rose quartz, I believe there's some rose quartz on here as well. Right, a stone necklace. And another one, I like this one. This is like, I love, really, this is strung on fabric. I don't think that's soap, but it's strung a thick stone necklace, polished stone. I guess it's agate, all of this. If anybody wants to chime in on what they think it is, you're welcome to. Give me a comment. Let me know if, you know, if there's anything you like here. Parti I like the participation and hearing from my subscribers. I know I've been saying that lately because I've been trying to get people to speak so I know who comes on my channel. I, I am interested. Um, th this is Arthur Art, Arthur Pepper. These are vintage clip. Those are like textured kind of. And those are pronged rhinestones. They are a nice, like, shimmery gray rhinestone color. Look at them. And they're signed art on the back. Um, not here, but over here. A-R-T. <laughs> Clip them back. I'll take them off because I'll show other earrings, but there's those. I think they're, I thought they were nice. This is cherry quartz, and I've never seen it before. Um, it's nice, I think. I like it. It's a stretch quartz bracelet with a big flower on it. Cherry quartz. It's stretch. The stretch seems good. Cherry quartz. And I don't know what this is, but I did not pass it up because I thought it was cool. <laughs> Look at it. Shell, mother of pearl, and I, I, this is like dyed. And that looks like stone of some sort. I'll test it. It could just be glass pieces. Well, those ones, this one looks like, that's not stone. That's like glass or ceramic or something. I thought it was cool. It's a stretch bracelet. Different. All right, um, look at this lady with the mink on. I have more necklaces too, I'll get to. She has a mink coat on, furry, little mink on her neck and a fur hat. I thought it was adorable. I don't know if it's real fur or not, but it's a cute pin. There's the back. I thought the mink was adorable. Little pin. Um, this is pretty. That's glass, red glass. Faux pearls. There's the back. This is a buckle bracelet. It opens. Crystals and I don't know who the maker is on it. I couldn't find it, but nice buckle bracelet. 
These are um, Trafari without a copyright, acrylic, orange acrylic. You can orange, see how many orange. They're signed Trafari with no copyright. These are vintage earrings. It's textured there to Trafarium on it. That was their own mixture of metal coating that they made themselves. These are nice, uh, they're clips, and the clips are in good shape. Those are Trafari. These are Weiss milk glass. Signed Weiss Clips Silver Tone Milk Glass and a Clear Rhinestone. So Weiss and Trafari. I don't, this is Vinti, I think it's called. V I N T Y. Beetles? <laughs> and like that's acrylic, and there's a rondelle with rhinestones in the center and some rhinestones in the back and up here. Cool earrings. They're signed V I N T Y, I think is what that is. Let me enlarge it and show it to you. Okay. It is Vinci. I'm pretty sure I found them. I did not find this color, I don't think, but I found another pair that looks similar. So I have those Beetles, V-I-N-T-Y. This is a wrap bracelet that has some Miller Fury on it. It's pretty nice, actually. Stone. Those are, I believe that's a mixture of stones in there. This is stone, Miller Fury type. crystals. It's leather. And then over here, there's some more stones and metal. And it's a, um, more stone down there. It's a nice wrap bracelet. I don't know who the maker is on it. I'll look a little bit better, but I think it's pretty nice. I have to look into it and see if it's stone and so forth, too. I'm not 100% sure. This is a oh, Monet. Signed Monet. Red enamel. It's nice. I guess I'll in the book. I'll have to look. Um, it's a nice school tone, one of those. It's in good shape. I thought that was nice too. It's the only one I find today, and I found one Trafari and one Weiss. Um, these are Kenneth J. Lane. I think it says 2009. Glass Faux Pearl Keller, it's 10, and it has the tag of KJL. Kenneth J. Lane by Kenneth J. Lane. It comes in the box and they're all on this foamy, velvety thing, but there's 10 of those there. So, um, what else? Back here I have this necklace. That is um, rhinestone. It's pretty nice, actually. And brass. I think it's a brass finish on it. Uh, I'll test it to see. I can tell by... But it's still nice. That's rhinestone, rhinestone. And these are like a root bear glass color. Like very, yet orangish in it. Look, it looks like it has a mirror like behind it on here that makes it, or some kind of coating that makes it shine very lovely. There's, it's a modern class. I think it's nice though. I don't know what this is. I mean, I've seen these class before and these are on some designer and I can't remember who. If anybody knows you want to swing by if, tell me if you know who this necklace maker is if it is anything but look at it it's vintage it's, i thought it was cool uh, the plastic is heavy it's definitely an acrylic um or something i i will test it and make sure it's not bakelite i don't think it is but it could be you never know there were different colors i i'm not real an expert on that or anything but i thought it was cool but here's the again the clasp I've seen it on a designer piece, and I can't recall. I had a colorful one, too, and my um, my daughter, 12-year-old, took it of these. This is pretty cool. It's a vintage. That says a patent pending on here. Little acrylic plastic necklace. Nice color of pink. She took the colorful one. She liked it. I couldn't tell her she couldn't have it. I mean, I could, but I didn't. She's just a child. Okay, um, and she liked it. These are all Monet clips, which I was happy to find 1980. These are the... Mobe style faux pearl Monet clips, nice size, an inch and a half at least. Then I found these ones are Monet. I found like four or five pairs. 1980. Nice. Signed Monet. All have the tension clip. These ones as well. A little smaller, but look like they've been hammered. Monet. And these are nice Monet. So it was four pairs of Monet. 
all in great shape. No fading. The gold plating on them is great. There's four pairs of those. These look like an unsigned Dan Klein. I could look better and see if I could find a signature. But I know not all the pieces are signed. Um, because I've had the sets and but those are cats. You see that? A lion roaring like like well, I think it's roaring. It's the incline cat, I think. That or the MCM somebody said one time. Ah, those are lions. And they're silver tone. They're pretty cool. And the clip's good. These are very nice. These don't have a name on them. But I thought they were nice clips. Silver tone. And they're like little knockers or something I'll bring to Thrifty Thursday and offer. These are Liz Claiborne, and these are exceptionally nice, actually. Let me hang them up. Look at the back. One has a rubbery thing. I have more of them. I can always add those to anybody's earrings if they ask me. I've been purchasing them. When I when you buy off me, you can ask me for like a couple of pairs of them if you buy more than one pair. So these are signed LCI, Liz Claiborne Incorporated. And they have some nice jewelry with the Liz Claiborne Incorporated. I have sort of few necklaces that are really lovely, like faux pearls and gold tone. But it has an LC on it, and it's like a shield. They're nice. Nice Liz Claiborne earrings, I think. And I, I just, I sold somebody a necklace not long ago. Look, these earrings would match it. If, you know, I don't remember who it was, but if you email me and you want these, you can have them to go with that. A little tortoise shell, like plastic. I know I sold a necklace not long ago, and I think they'd match it perfect. I don't know who the maker is on these. They look like a pair of Roman brand earrings, but I'm not sure. I'll check them out. They're very nice, the gold plating and crystals. Quality earrings, clips. They're nice. They're about an inch and a half. I just picked this pin up just to pick it up. Like the shaping out. It's like a matte finish, satiny matte finish. And I thought these were lovely. Look, somebody, they're like painted. Look like fans or clip earrings, and that's painted on there. I have another pair of little, I didn't check these out for like silver content or anything, but look. Little hoop earrings with butterflies on them. I thought they were nice. And then I found this necklace. And then I will get into some of the friend mail. I pulled one bag out. There's bags like half full in there. I figured I have a lot of a haul today, so I'll show a portion of it. These are, you know, and then I can show more later. Um, I don't know what that is. Pewter. It's something heavy. But faux pearls and that. Here's the clasp on this. Faux pearls. Like misshapen deliberately to look real. And then that big like medallion type thing. It's heavy. I thought it was nice together. Let me hang it up and show you. I think it's nice. Alright, so that's all of that. We'll put that on top of there. Oh, this is as well. It's um, gold tone and silver tone. It's not anything real, but um, it's it's cool. It's a, I mean, I thought it was pretty. It's a fold-over class bracelet. All right, let me show you. I pulled a bag out, and this will... I kind of got to put jewelry away. It's um, I, I need to get on it. <laughs> I have been. I've been working on it. All right, this is a nice... This is a nice uh, J. Crew or Loft. Let's see. J. Crew. I'm getting into it. One second, sorry. Look. That's the J. Crew. Here's the J. Crew tag. And then that little, like, ringy guard thing, whatever. What do they call it? A lifesaver, I think. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to lift this up a little bit, and that's all. It's very nice, actually. It's a nice necklace. They do use brass on their jewelry, not a brass finish. Um, their jewelry's more quality. It's a pretty decent quality made, J. Crew. That's nice, I think. So there's that. Um... This is pretty. This is like Young Yu or something. I don't, I, I can't see it. So I hope my lighting looks good. I didn't move the lights back from the other night. I mean, they're here, but they're, they didn't angle them back. I think the lighting should be good, though. It's usually pretty good in here. Um, these are the Fung Tong Guan or something. 
This is nice. It's leather and those look like crystals in there. It's a snap bracelet. It's well made. It's a well made bracelet. A clamper with multiple colors on it looks designer. I, I don't know if it is. I'll, I'll have to look at it better, but it's a nice bracelet. We have tail black and a burgundy red. I don't see a maker's mark on it or anything. There's that. A couple stone bracelets here. Let us show this first. A brooch, a little pin. This is plastic or acrylic. Yeah, and those are glass rhinestones here and here. This is a more modern brooch. It's, it's nice, so I think it's cute. It's a little brooch. Quartz stone and stone. Price so light. So there's three stone bracelets. They're stretched. The stretches are good, though. They're not worn out. It's not, like, ready to break or anything like that. Here's another one. A nice tiger eye. Nice flash in that. Another strong stretch. So there's four. Four stones. Bracelets. This is a stone. I believe these are stones too. Um, it's one of those ones you can pull. I don't know if it's stone or glass. So if it's onyx or black. But this looks like stone here. I'd, I'd have to test it. But it's nice. It's always nice to stone. Ooh. I don't know if it's a Loft or J. Crew, let's see. <clears throat> I, I can't see. J. Crew. Another one. Look how good. Oh, it's nice, nice, nice. Oh, what did I not go wrong? Oh, no, go. Oh, no, the Beatles. They're okay. I need to move stuff back. This is nice. It's a J. Crew as well. Brass and. Really nice, actually. How long it is, but it has the newer clasp on it. I think it's the newer one for J. Crew. They used to use the other one, I believe, although that could be wrong, so don't quote me. I don't want to be quoted on anything. <laughs> I don't know. This is an eyeball. Is that the all seeing eye? This is a bracelet that's handmade. That's, I believe, that's a suede or some type of material there. And I don't know what that means. If anybody does, there's the maker's mark, I guess. Um, this, I don't know who the maker is either, but look, these, oh, that's really pretty, actually. Those are all, like, pronged, like, very nice pink look crystals, look like crystals. And there's a mark on it there. I don't know if that's the maker's mark. You see that? It's good without the camera. I can see a maker's mark on it. It's nice, so it's like, it's leather. I think that's leather. And you button it there. It's like a beige color. This is nice. This looks like stone. I don't know who the maker is on it, and I don't know the content. But I will check it out. It looks like it would be silver. Mother of Pearl. Very nice. Kind of looks like the John Moritis, if I'm pronouncing that right. I didn't see a maker's mark on it. There's something like that. I'll have to look at it closer. Pretty. It's a pretty big bill. You could hang it on a thicker chain as well. This is Lucky You. I do know that now. I just learned the maker's mark. Um, I mean the hang tag. Which is last week. And this is a nice one. You open it up and re like button it like that. And you can wear it reversed, it looks like. I look this side. Or that side. It's nice. Nice lucky you. It's quality. Their jewelry's nice. that side and then this side I like this I think it's a nice necklace actually I like this side they're both nice all right um this looks oddly familiar to me <laughs> look look how cute it's an enamel um though she be but little she is ferris <laughs> it's a bumblebee enameled like you hang this from your window or whatever or you know off a of plant or something it's cute I like the same. All right, what else have I got? I chose a smaller bag. Oh my lord, have mercy! Look how cute. I've got Evo probably like this. Look at that. 
Look at that cat. There's two of them. This one's a more vintage one, I think. I don't know. They're adorable. It's a matter for vintage or not. Black rhinestone. I think those are black rhinestones in the eyes. And look how cute. Adorable. Two enameled kitty cats. Eva does get a lot of the cats from me if she likes them. I, I can't say no to the child. Um, those are adorable. This is a really pretty necklace. I don't know who the maker is on it. I'll hang it up and show you the tag. I don't know this at all. Um, it has a, a lobster claw clasp. And let me look at it real quick. You guys can look at that stuff. They're V C L M I N, I think. M I M. I don't know what that means, but well, it's really pretty. Look at it. I can hang it on a smaller neck here. It looks like like opaline glass and some clear. All right, so it's very pretty. That's a little wide drop. That can be worn. It's light enough, nice, like, to be worn, like, right on your throat. You know what I mean? Up on your neck. Wait a sir. There's the tag, and I didn't know what it meant. Let me show it to you. In case somebody knows it. It hangs, I think it's this way. Because I could have been... Yeah, I don't know who that is. nice it doesn't you can hang it on the side but it doesn't hang like it i just happen to hang it like that another clamper it's a nice heavy one i don't see a maker in it but i'll look better because sometimes they're it's nice i like the color combo and the silver tone on the outside it's an oval one pearls strung on like lace i think these are fresh water like broke different colors and I guess um, somebody could wear it with the lace on it or you could put clasp on it and wear it people use the lace to tie their pearls on I mean they always have I think I don't know what this is either look it's interesting it's a pendant I don't know if it's sterling or not I'll test it that lots of nice stuff i still have more to show too from um, my friend mail probably two more videos maybe three depending on how big my this is a banana republic size seven depending on how big my haul is i've been mixing it in with wednesdays i think it's banana republic it's nice citrine um glass i think i'll check it out and make sure it is it's, i like the color of it a red glass necklace with black faceted glass and red In gold tone caps. It's nice. Let me hang it up on the small one like this. It's a nice necklace. This is coldy glass on here. Okay. That is molded, this piece. This can be worn as a pendant or a pin. Enamel white enamel and, and it looks like crystals or it could be rhinestones there. These are, I don't know if these are sterling or not. Look, these are very nice. So. They have um, crystals like all over on there. You see that? Pair of stearings. They're pretty black. Like enameling on them. I didn't see Maker's Mark. These look like Sterling, though. I didn't see a Hallmark or a Maker's Mark. I'll check them out. But, uh, it's pretty. I believe that's just gold tone. I'll check it out better, though, and probably cubic zirconians. It's nice, though. That's one of those ones that go with another ring, I think. A Druzy. I think it's Sterling. I'm not sure, though, but that's a Druzy. A little clown face. It'll probably go in with my collection that I've been keeping. That's porcelain. 
these, oh, these are nice. These are Trafari earrings. Look how nice. Trafari um, with a copyright. I don't know if they're Crown Trafari or not. They are Crown Trafari copyrights. These are 55 to 69. That date is in my head forever. They're nice. Crystals or rhinestones. Not sure which one. Look how cute. Little violin or fiddle with black and that's a red, I think. Or no, yeah, a red rhinestone or crystals in black and white. This is, I thought this one was cool. I think it's sterling. I have to test it. Aztec or Mayan type. Cool. It's a pin. Doesn't have any makers mark I can see, but I'll check. This is a, um, this is plastic. It's a little bracelet. Those are nice. Feels like suede on that side. Okay. Cute. It's a pin white um, enameling with some color sheeny like spark um lustry color put over it i think these are stones although i don't know slices here's the end this looks vintage to me this is a lot of jewelry this is plastic and i don't know who the maker is on it it's nice so red. I like red. It's a nice necklace. It is a toggle class. This says Beyond Blessed. It's a nice bracelet. Crystals, different colors. It's one of, oh, a little hard hanging off. It's one of those ones you can pull. There's crystals there too. And it says Beyond Blessed on it. It's nice. I think it's nice. These earrings say something on them, and I cannot identify it. I'm going to enlarge it, and maybe somebody will know. They're nice earrings, though. They look gold-plated, and they're enameled. I don't know what they say. Look. Maybe somebody knows this maker. Can you see that? Let me enlarge it more. That is it that way. <laughs> and then that way. There's a copy right on there. Yeah, I don't know what that says, but look, they're very nice. They're hoops, and I believe they're gold plated. I'll test them to make sure what they are enameled in gold plated hoops. Nice. And they have that maker's mark on it that I don't know what it is. Then I have this bracelet. Again, I don't see a maker mark on it. It's very nice. So I love purple. It's purple, like purple leather, I believe. There's purple crystals and mineral, and then those crystals. And that's it. That, that is the end of my video. It's a lot of jewelry. Um, between the friend mail and the haul, it's a pretty big amount. Um, if you see anything you're interested in, you may email me, like I said, at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Again, the email's done in the, underneath the video in the description section. I will also be live on tomorrow which is thursday august the 24th i will be on at 12 p.m eastern time i hope you can join me even to say hello if you're not interested in buying if you are interested in buying please re uh, register you can register by emailing me pre-registration or you can register that day but make sure you subscribe to me because i do have it set so only subscribers can comment on my lives uh, to prevent harassment and bots all right thank you and have a good day and i will talk to you later bye